Welcome back. Today we're going to take a quick look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies by Pocket Cap. We will start with Solana and then we'll follow it by Polkadot, Shiba Inu, Litecoin, Tron, Avalanche and then we'll end with Uniswap and number 20. Let's get straight into it. Sol against BTC. What in the world is this? I have zero idea what in the world is this. Are we going to zoom back up? We're still under the skinking climb. So the bias is still bearish. We are still in a bearish trend for Sol against Bitcoin and we still have our 2,000 target. We're at 9,000 right now, but for us to fall from 9,000 to 2,000, that's going to be like, what, 78%? Right, uh, could we still, you know, see a trend reversal? Yeah, of course. Of course, uh, if you could just consolidate here a little bit longer, skinny pink line comes down. Right, uh, and then we spike up above the skinny pink line, uh, completing what would possibly be a wave three. So this will be a one, we consolidated for two, then we go up for a three, right? Four, and then five. Ooh, this will be perfect five waves, right? Perfect five waves, just like here. One, okay, so not exactly perfect, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. It's very small too. So yeah, that's Solana for you. Any. Yeah, it's, it's just untradeable. We still have our 2000 target and yeah, the same thing uh, on Solana against USDT. So again, this is the very, very gigantic head and shoulders uh, that we got slapped down from. Yes, there's a very strong rally towards the upside. We're hitting, uh, very likely about to hit the resistance line, uh, which is going to very likely co coincide with the skinny pink line. And then maybe we come back down or we break up and we don't come back down. We're not too sure. The thing about Solana is that when it rises, it rises very, very fast. And it's very, very, it just launches itself up, right? Uh, so, uh, wave 3 was smaller than 1. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? A very small wave 5, uh, slightly uh, smaller than a wave 1 type of a wave 3. Uh, again, this could be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in itself as well. But yeah, again, we're still under the skinny pink line. We don't see any clear um, bullish reversal, uh, no clear bullish chart patterns coming in, right? Uh, this was a falling channel that came, uh, we broke out from. Yeah, we just don't see it yet uh, for Solana against USDT. So we just can't, you know, we can't, we can't call a bullish reversal. If anything, yeah, we're still loyal. As long as we're under the skinny pink line, we remain loyal to our $2.22 target. I know from where we are right now to two twenty two is a 89% drop. So there could be something happening behind the scenes for Solana. We might not be seeing the full picture. Uh, so yeah, the, the chart still isn't really that clear. You know, we, we could still drop down, we could still hit higher. So yeah, again, we, we just need to give uh, Solana more time to do their thing, right? The wheels, especially. Dot against BTC. Yes, sir, here we are. We still have more downside. 2250, 2080. We're at 2650. We're not too far away from our targets. Uh, I think if we hit one and two, very likely we'll take out these lows as well. But I think about Polkadot is that we're falling in a very slow manner, which is good. Which is good. When we fall, we want to fall very slow. When we rise, we want to rise very fast, All right? Uh, look at uh, the rise when we rise, right? Fast. Very fast moves, right? We like that. Speedy up, slow down. Perfect. So yeah, but again, we're still in the downward trend. We're still under the skinny pink line. We respect the skinny pink line and we still stay bias bearish for dot against BTC. Dot against USDT. Same freaking thing. Uh, we're still under the skinny pink line. Yes, we touched the skinny pink line. And yes, there could be a potential reversal. It's a very, very slanted one. Not exactly what I would consider as high quality. This is uh, left shoulder hit. I think we could be getting a right shoulder over here. We're heading higher. We're not entirely sure. We still have our $3.33 target. Uh, again, if we break above the skinny pink line and we continue higher, then whoa, this would be great. This would be great. This would be the bullish reversal, right? But I don't see it yet, so I can't be making any moves, right? I can't even have upside targets because it's just not really that clear yet, right? Towards the upside, I mean, even towards the downside as well. I don't see the continuation for dot USDT, so be careful about going to a trade too soon. For polka dot sheep against USDT, we are right at the skinny pink line, right? Uh, we're still anticipating possibility of a more downside, right? If we drop all the way down towards support then this will be the third touch. More likely than not, we will be taking out these lows. If we take out these two lows, very likely we'll be taking out all of these lows as well. So there's going to be a very brutal fall 
for ship if we come back towards the support line. And it feels to me like we could be heading back down. But but on the flip side, yeah, this whole thing could also become a series of valleys, right? Big valley one, valley two, and then we get a smaller valley three, pump, reversal. Right, we've already uh, sliced through the skinny pink line. Uh, we could just, you know, just as well bounce back up and reconsolidate uh, before we hit higher, right? That'll be Shiba Inu uh, turning bullish. But yeah, we just don't have enough information to work with SHIB at the moment. Litecoin against BTC. We are in a squeeze, yes sir. And we still have our target over here, 6280, we're at 3923. So yeah, we're still expecting more upside. Again, this is a symmetrical triangle in the making. Uh, the only question we have is, are we going to head lower or are we going to break higher, right? We're already above the skinny pink line, so I'm leaning more towards the bullish side of things. If anything, this is what I would think is a wave four, right? This whole thing is a one, right? We, we, we consolidated for a two, right? Look at this symmetrical triangle. Up, uh, yeah, so if, if this is a two, this is a four, right? One, two, three, four, there should be a five coming on. So more upside is to be expected for Litecoin against uh, BTC. Litecoin against USDT. We are, yeah, we're above the skinny pink line. So the bias should be bullish for Litecoin. It's just that it's not really that tradable. In terms of tradability, it's like, wow, how do I trade this? Yeah, you can't. <laughs> where did I put my stop loss? <laughs> you, you just don't know where, right? So there's, there's no... You know, the thing, the reason why we keep looking for uh, symmetrical triangles is because you will get lower highs and you will get higher lows, right? The reason why uh, symmetrical triangles are fast is because once we break out, uh, we will take out all uh, the highs over here. The moment we go past this high, there will be a spike up, right? We take out this high, we take out this high, there will be spike up, spike up, spike up. And so things move in a very uh, lightning fast manner, right? But for Litecoin, we're crawling back up because there's just no, you know, just there's just no, uh, clusters of stop buys, right, for it to uh, propel towards the upside. So, yeah, I, I still have the worry that Litecoin might come back down towards support, right? And if this happens, then Litecoin could be forming a very big, very, very big head and shoulders. And we could actually be collapsing for Litecoin, but it doesn't look like it on the BTC pair. So I'm compelled to feel like uh, more likely than not, uh, we could be heading higher. Right? We, we could do something like this, you know. We broke the skinny pink line, and then we could still break back down, right? And we retest it again, and then we break, break it for real, right? So, yeah, this this could be this where we are right now, right? Right, one, two, three, four, five, right? So maybe this whole thing could be a one, two, three, four, another one, five, small one, maybe. And then, yeah, we could be heading lower for Litecoin against USDT. I, I can't say for sure at this point of time. I'm not entirely sure because Litecoin's chart pattern is just all over the place, and I'm just not really that... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just all over the place. Um, the party for Litecoin is actually on the BTC pair, not on the uh, USD pair. Tron against BTC. Here we are. Uh, symmetrical triangle over here. Yes, we broke out. Uh, yes, we fell. And then we're out again. And it's like, mm, what's happening with Tron? Are we in a consolidation? Yes, accumulation, actually. Right, we've been going sideways for a very long time, ever since 2019. Uh, no clear breakouts for Tron against BTC. Uh, I suspect that once Tron really does break out, uh, this could be a big, big move uh, coming on for Tron. I can't say I can't say for sure, of course, but again, the chart pattern just isn't really that uh, high quality, uh, in my opinion. At this point of time, right, uh, you can argue that we could be forming an inverse head and shoulders over here, right? Uh, this whole thing, you know, we could complete the head over here, and then we get a right shoulder. Boom! We break out for Tron against BTC. But I just don't see it yet. So, yeah, be careful about rushing into a trade dude soon for Tron. Uh, Tron against USDT. This still looks bearish to me. <laughs> this is a gigantic uh, descending triangle. If anything, oh boy, I still expect more downside. But, you know, we, we keep crawling our way out, right? And Tron is just... It's just very scary, in my opinion. <laughs> Even though we see the bearish chart pattern, right? Uh, it's very scary. So many times, uh, it sliced down and then it, it pushed its way back up, right? We got we got sliced down again, right? Uh, took out all uh, the stop buys over here, and then we got pushed up again. It's like, what? Yeah, very dangerous coin to be shorting, in my opinion, because it's highly, highly manipulated. So, yeah, but it's, it is as bearish as it gets, though. This is as bearish, you know. Hey, skinny, where's uh, Tron pointing? Yeah, down. Is it pointing up? No. 
down. <laughs> this is down. Um, yeah, but again, you know, uh, until we revisit the support line, we, we can't be uh, getting any targets for Tron. Not at this point of time. Uh, I, I would love to trade Tron, but uh, it's a bit scary. <laughs> we have to see how it goes first, all right? AVEX against BTC. Mm, this is AVEX. Yes, sir, we were saying that once we take out these highs, uh, we will invalidate this target. Uh, we will invalidate the bearishness of the entire thing for AVEX BTC. But we haven't taken out the highs yet, and we are kind of curving back down. So are we completing, completing something like a descending triangle? Maybe, maybe. Uh, we could be heading, heading back down towards 4007. Maybe. Not to show myself. Mm, but we're under the skinny pink line though, so we remain respectful for the uh, towards the skinny pink line, uh, and we still remain with our bearish bias until we see bullish bullish chart patterns, right? Until the pattern turns bullish for AVEX BTC, uh, AVEX USDT. Yeah, we still have downside targets. The scariest thing about AVEX is this is a potential left <laughs> shoulder, head right shoulder. We could be heading very very low for AVEX USDT. Again, no clear signs of a bullish reversal. You can argue that maybe. See this? A right shoulder. Left shoulder, hit. Right shoulder, heading higher. <sighs> we're just not too sure. We are just not too sure. We still have our downside targets. So we're still under the skinny pink line. It's a very nice support line over here. <laughs> There's danger. So yeah, it's, it's mixed signals everywhere. So stay safe, right? Stay safe. Uniswap against BTC. Here we are for Uniswap. Uh, Uniswap is in a consolidation. We're expecting potential continuation towards the upside, right? Uh, the preceding trend was bullish. So the subsequent trend should be bullish as well. Uh, but again, we are, we're just marking around the skinny pink line. We're not exactly, uh, you know, consolidating above. If you're above the skinny pink line, then, then great. But <laughs> we're on top of the skinny pink line, so uh, we could head lower as well. Again, I can't, I can't say for sure for Uniswap against BDC at this point of time, but if we head back towards support, oh boy, this is not going to be good, right? This could be a descending triangle. <sighs> Things could get really, really bad for Uni BTC. Uni USDT. Yeah, yeah, same thing. You know, we're in some sort of a consolidation, we're both the skinny pink line. Uh, we could also come back down here, you know, to form mountain ranges, head lower. Uh, but you can also argue that this is a A B C D E. We are about to break higher. Both possibilities still exist. Uh, we are <laughs> so that's why it's very difficult right now. There's there's mixed signals. You know, there are mixed signals in the market, and we're just not too sure about things. There are bullish signals and there are bearish signals. Um, yeah, it's, it's just confusing times uh, at the moment. Uh, but if you were to ask me about Uniswap, you know, based on what I see on USDT, just purely based on USDT, uh, would I lean bullish? Uh, it's possible, you know, it's possible. We, we are above the skinny pink line. We didn't really collapse back down. Uh, no clear, you know, if we come back down here, then yes. Right, this whole thing could be a descending triangle. We could head lower, for sure. But, you know, we're just hanging around here. So, so uh, I, I guess if we do something like this, right, just hang around here and just go sideways, right? So this whole thing could be a wave E, right? A, B, C, D, E, out. Right. Hmm. Not too sure and not too sure. <laughs> Scary stuff, right? Unless we decisively break above the CNP line, right? Then we can like, mm, okay, we'll probably lean bullish for Uniswap, but... Yeah, there are other coins, you know, they're actually clearly in a bullish trend, but it's not in the top 40, right? Uh, we saw some of it, uh, and we feel like, you know, there could be big, 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 big moves uh, towards the upside coming for the other coins. So, yeah, but not, not for the top 20, you know, not for all the other coins that we've just uh, seen. So, yeah, stay safe, stay safe. I wouldn't recommend coins out of the, you know, top 20, 30, 40, you know, uh, because... Some of it could be just uh, too scammy and there could be rock pools here and there. So you need to be very, very careful. All right. I guess that's it for today's top 20. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da.